no, no. We have to behave ourselves a bit tonight because, you know, Michael's mom's here. Oh, is that right? And his Aunt Miriam. Oh, dear. Yeah, they're right behind him. <laughs> look, look, right there. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Now, they probably don't, because they've got a great family. They've got Doug. Doug. Oh, Doug uh, yeah. Michael's, he's a fantastic great guy. guy. What a guy Doug is. <laughs> and then they've got Michael. I know. She must be, you know, she's already a little bit disappointed. Yeah, yeah. He's a, lo he's a lovely boy. He's a lovely, lovely, good, good man. Racist. He's a racist. 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 He is a racist. He's, he's, you know, he's sensibly dressed. He wears a He's a racist. Yeah, racist. yeah, yeah. He's always kind to his fellow workers as long as they're from the same ethnic group as him. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying you're a racist. In front of your mom and your Aunt Miriam. His Aunt Miriam is a racist. <laughs> That's where he gets it. His mom is fine, but his Aunt Miriam. <laughs> Welcome back from the edit, everybody. <laughs> that was a great edit, wasn't it? It was really Well, I tell you, I'm Man. glad I didn't say anything cussy or weird or remotely <laughs> controversial there. That, that was pretty funny, though. It was pretty, pretty funny. It was yeah. pretty funny, but CBS want to protect you from funny. That's why I'm on. <laughs> Street mail time, time to take advice from a man who will be presenting this segment under the watchful gaze of Aunt Miriam. <laughs> I wasn't nervous, but you've made me a little bit oh, nervous yeah. now. She's always watching. Yeah, she is. She's like Santa, but evil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she sees you when you're sleeping. She knows when you're awake. She knows when you are bad or good. So be good for goodness sake, please. <laughs> Topical humor on the 4th yeah. of January. Yeah. Is it the 4th yeah. of January or the 6th of January? It's the 6th, man. It's the 6th. <laughs> you see, everything's all right. It's just a joke. <laughs> Aunt Miriam has her hand on my ass. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, oh, sorry, everyone, sorry, we were nearly late. <laughs> Get out. We were just being at a European... Uh, very... uh, all right. Ladies, when I pass by you and tap you on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home. And where are you from? Tegan, Australia. Shani, Australia. Kimberly, Seattle. Eileen, North Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> so, two American ladies, two Australian ladies. So, two of you go clockwise and two of you go counterclockwise. <laughs> Excuse me a second, ladies. That may actually be the filthiest thing I've ever said on this. If you don't know what I mean, then what's the harm? And if you do, I apologize. <laughs> so, ladies, I've had a great idea. In order to promote Australian-American relations in lesbians... Because <laughs> you were all sitting on Lesbian Road. You know that, right? <laughs> Can I say you were a little bit judgy there when I said... <laughs> it's okay. You're cool. No judging here. <laughs> uh... Anyway, we're going to send you to a restaurant of your choice. As long as the choice is Craig's Restaurant in Hollywood. <laughs> Do you choose that restaurant? I yes. Am. I suppose. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> Craig's Restaurant? Yep. Is that the one? Where you will be able to take, uh, each take one other person with you, so that will be eight people. That's going to cost you a fortune, right? Uh, <laughs> and then you guys can eat and drink whatever you want for the whole night, and remember to tip generously because it will be paid for by CBS. <laughs> yes, man! <laughs> that, wait, wait, wait. How can you say no to that? Because these people are on TV, and that will make you look like a jackass. <laughs> oh, wait. You are a jackass. <laughs> well, then, if they won't pay for it, you're out of luck. <laughs> Excuse me a second. I am Scottish. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, then where's the harm? <laughs> and if you do, I apologize.
Please state your name for the folks at home. Yaakov Smirnov. Yaakov Smirnov? <laughs> From where? <laughs> don't, don't. He doesn't know our ways. <laughs> Uh, original from Russia, Yaakov Smirnov is not my real name. It used to be Jack Daniels. <laughs> Less of the humor here. People will start expecting it. <laughs> so, Mr. Smirnov, if that is your real name, uh, right? Uh, you're Russian. Why aren't you in Russia enjoying some downhill action? <laughs> it, 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 it's too warm there for the Olympics. Uh, the temperature is 50 degrees. Um, the, the, you know, ski jump um, will be different there because the skier will be pulled by a boat. <laughs> Probably lost a little in the translation, you know what I mean? <laughs> when did you come to these United States, Mr. Shmirnov? I came in 1977. I see, during the height of punk rock. You, you may say that, yes. It yes, I may say that because this is the United States and I may say what I like, Mr. Smyrna. <laughs> in fact, that would imply that I could say, what, 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 a, con what a country. <laughs> That's a great phrase. You should, should use that. I will use that. that yeah. try, try, try it on. What a country. Very good, yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> 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 So, uh, you've never been back to Russia since you, uh, since you came here? I, I've gone back several times. I see. But yeah. not for the Olympics? Not, not for the Olympics. Don't you like sport? No, I, I like sports. I just decided to wait here because there is a lot of problems there going on. There is not, not water in the hotel rooms. Uh, yes. They, they break into your um, data on the internet, you know. I know, it's like Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah, here you call it, you know, pirating. There they call it room service. Yeah. <laughs> see the thing, see the thing. What a con. Yeah, yeah, what a con. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very good. <laughs> well, and, 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 you, and we have here in America things they don't have in Russia, like policemen have warning shots. <laughs> Those are really nice. The views expressed by Mr. Smirnov, <laughs> and this is especially for you, Mr. Putin, are in no way mine. And, and, and he takes the shirt off all the time. He does. It's well, he can do that in comfort knowing there are no gay people in Russia. <laughs> he puts them away, but he realizes it doesn't work because he put men with men, women with women, and uh, he knew that it's not going to work because there is two-year waiting list for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> do what a country and let's get out of here. What a country! What a country! Welcome to a very special House Hunters International. <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name. Richard. And? Josh Paco Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Richard and Josh are tired of their busy life in... Where are you from? Seattle. Seattle. And are looking for an... to... Relax in war-torn Kosovo. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys wearing the same shirts? It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Are you part of a gang or yeah. something? What gang are you part of? The Careful. Or the Orange Crew. The Orange Crew? Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel we're getting closer to the truth. <laughs> What have you got there, George? This one's a picture for you. Oh, it's a picture of, of you. That's you you two us. are a couple then? Yes. Do, do you wear the same color being a couple? That's because like when straight couples do that, we would consider that creepy. A little bit. 
But when gay couples do it, it's kind of like cool. It's adorable. It is adorable, I have to say. Anyway, look at the lovely picture they've it's given me. <laughs> Let me tell you, boys, that's going up in the mantelpiece right now. Stay right there. <laughs> right next to Regis. <clears throat> now, uh, what are you boys doing in town from Seattle? Why are you here? We are on our yearly vacation to, Los, uh, to LA and then to Palm Springs. LA and then Palm Springs yeah. to... Oh. What? <laughs> What are you going to do when you're, uh, when you're uh, on vacation? Any exciting activities planned? No, none. This was for relaxing. We came here to we see just, you. We uh, just to lie down yeah. and, and stuff. stuff. There's a pool, like, in California, there's this ball of fire in the sky that we don't have in Seattle. Oh, yes, yes. So uh, yes um, we're going to enjoy that a little sun, bit. Yes. The sun, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called, I think. Yes, yeah. yes. And what about, uh, what, the Seahawks did well this oh, year? Oh, yeah, they did great. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. 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 Beyonce never <laughs> Right, we've run out of things to talk about, so... <laughs> Michael, where are we sending this fine young couple? La Conda Veneta. It's an Italian restaurant that's uh, famous for its pasta. Yeah. That's a good thing to be good yeah. for. And we'll be right back with uh, the Rainbow Bright edition <laughs> of how House Hunters International. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. This is going to be great. <laughs> All right, girls. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Shirley, I'm from Cork. Cork in Ireland? Yeah. Hi, diddly dee. <laughs> At least Mansfield, Waterford. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks. Tanya Mansfield, Cork. Tanya Mansfield from Cork. Now, Lisa, you're from Ireland, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> You guys know each other? No, don't. <laughs> Have you ever been to Cork or Cork or what is it, the other one? <laughs> I've been once. You've been once to Cork? Maybe once. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, have you girls ever seen this show before? Yes. Oh, you watch it. <laughs> do, do, do we go out in Ireland? No, no, she lives there. I live here now. Oh, you live here and you've come to visit? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get your hair done when you were here or before you came <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, it's, uh, it's <laughs> very, it's really bright. It's, it's lovely. It's lovely. Do you, do you ever get your hair done? And uh, never mind. She's so lovely. <laughs> anyway, um, girls, we've decided to send you out for dinner. Uh, CBS have decided to send you out for dinner, and Lisa's going to go with you. And, <laughs> and you're going to go to Master's Steakhouse. Master's Steakhouse. Yes. Are you vegetarians? No. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, Lisa, you can go as well. Excellent. Yeah. That's <laughs> good. And, um, and then maybe when you guys are done and you've had a few drinks, you may have a pillow fight or something. I'm a little concerned about the three girls by the fire. Yeah, what, what, are, you, what are you worried about? Man? Well, during the commercial break, I heard them saying, when shall we three meet again? <laughs> in thunder, lightning, or in rain, or when the hurly-burly's done, and when the battle's lost. Oh, dear. What did you say? I said, oh, dear. No, no, I was going to, you were, I thought you were going to finish Yeah, no, the, no, I was, uh, no. Well, I've written worked out great tonight, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Hi, girls. This is my horse. Uh, hi. hi, horse. <laughs> I use them to meet girls. All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you are from. Hi, my name is Prilly. I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia? Yes, Indonesia. <laughs> Kanita, I'm from Indonesia. Ah, Prilly and Kanita from Indonesia, hey! <laughs> so, uh, ladies, let me see what, if I've got... Is this your flag? 
Yes. 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 Well, there you are there. Take that back with you. Uh, do you know if you have it this way, it's Poland. Yeah. It's Monaco as well. It, Monaco as well? Yes. <laughs> well, I think that speaks volumes for the school system in Indonesia, doesn't it? <laughs> Ladies, what are you doing in California? Are you on vacation? I uh, actually study here. I live here now. <laughs> But I will. You! <laughs> Fine, okay. What are you studying? I study graphic design. Graphic design? Great! <laughs> Where do you study at? USC? No, I go UCLA? No. Where? Art Center in Pasadena. The big one! <laughs> yeah. And are you visiting or are you staying here too? I'm visiting. Oh, I see. You guys friends from Indonesia? Yeah, we're yeah. high school friends. High school friends? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you still live in Indonesia? Yeah. What do you do there? Um, I'm working with my dad. Working with your dad? Yes. Is he a spy? <laughs> no. My you sister just, studies here. Your sister studies here. Well, it's good news <laughs> for us all. <laughs> anyway, good news. We're sending you to a, a restaurant. I hope not an Indonesian restaurant. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, that's the that's the one owned by Lisa Vanderpump, <laughs> who. Whose name is n sounds nothing like a penis enlargement device. <laughs> I promised myself I wasn't going to say that tonight. She's she's on the show tonight. Don't she probably won't see this. Don't mention that if you meet her in Indonesia <laughs> or at the restaurant where you're going, which is a very good restaurant, isn't it? It's uh, it's um, it's cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Girls are adorable, aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm still creepy. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Please state your name and where you're from. Julia Mancuso, Squaw Valley, California. Squ Squaw Valley? Yep. Where's that? Also known as Olympic Valley in Lake Tahoe. Oh, that's nice. Have you ever been, or, or did you watch the Olympics on TV? A little bit. <laughs> I was pretty busy well, wait, at the what time. Do you do, what do you do for a living? What, what do you do? I race in Olympics, skiing. Really? Were you at the Olympics in Sochi? I was. Really? Did you win anything? Uh, one. That's very nice. That's lovely. Is that uh, gold? Or one of the other ones. I, I call it rose gold. It's kind of a rosy yeah. gold color. It's yeah. very nice. I didn't realize they were so heavy. This is they the are. first time I've ever held an Olympic medal in my hand, and possibly the last. <laughs> do you mind if I just borrow this for a second? Yeah, yeah, go Can, for may it. I just, just for a second, I just want to do something that I've always wanted to do and I've never had a chance to do. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks. Oh, Julia, and if that is your real name, and you really are an Olympic contestant, these are amazing shoes for skiing. Thank you. That's uh... a. <laughs> you other know, it, too. Lo it looks good. It looks very good. <laughs> now, um, Squaw Valley, California, eh? is that where you learned to ski? Yes, it is. And you like going downhill fast? Really fast. You're going to love this show. <laughs> Now, hello, chicken muggies. <laughs> it's all right. I get, anyway, all right, we'll start. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and uh, what you do for a living. Taylor Hicks, entertainer. Entertainer, eh? That would explain your crocodile boots. <laughs> that it would. What kind of entertainment do you do? Have you ever, for example, danced and took your clothes off at the same time? Yes, I have. Have you really? <laughs> You weren't expecting that, were you? No, I, 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 I'm delighted to hear about it, though. <laughs> I was delighted, too. Was the audience delighted, though, Taylor? I loved every minute of it. <laughs> Where was this, in Reno? <laughs> yeah. You were sitting in front row. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Oh, over here, over here, Taylor. Uh-oh, place to sit. 
How you doing, buddy? Where have you been recently? I'm doing a show in Las Vegas. Oh, really? At the Paris Hotel. I see. And are you a magician? M musician. I see. <laughs> it's a kind of musical magic show? It is. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any white tigers? Mm, two. Really? No. Now, you don't have any white tigers, it's going to be a problem. Yes. Unless you can play one of these. It's a, a, a mouth organ. Harmonica, you might know it by as a... Can you play this? Oh, you've brought your own. <laughs> All right, well... But you got to play it too. I can. Yes, you can. I can. They You're told a... me that you can play. All right, wait there. Go get it. Uh, say something Scottish. Uh, I, I blow the men down. <laughs> It could be a bit more Scottish than that. What about what a Shrek donkey? Let's do that. Are you Shrek donkey? Yeah, you are. Great. If you just tuned in, ho oh, ho, you can get your TV All right. fixed. Back. All right, you ready? So here's the problem, boy. I picked a couple of people out of the audience to come down here to do the start of the show, and the lady who I picked out, who's the mom of the guy, who's the, you know, the guy that I picked out, well, she's a little bit cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I said to her, hello, what's your name? And she said her name, and then I, and then she said to me, and you are? <laughs> I was like, I I'll cut a bitch, you know. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> anyway, everything will be out fine. You just check them for weapons, and then I'll be over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, when I tap you on the shoulder, state your name and where you're from. Uh, my name's Rob, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. A Canadian, eh? Yes. And my name's Linda, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. I see. Canadians. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> so, my Canadian friends, first of all, let me ask you, big fella, how'd you feel about Bart Simpson? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys, uh, you, you know each other? Yes, we're related. Ah. He's my son. Oh, that's that lovely. Would make me his his mother. mother. Yes, I've got it. We have a very similar system in the United okay. States. <laughs> so. Um, here's uh, my if I'm going to ask you a question, right? Okay. And then if you get the question right, or even if you get it wrong, but it would help if you got it right, we'll send you to a swanky restaurant for free where you can, yeah, what is it? Is it about hockey? Because we know all about hockey in it, it might be a little bit about hockey, okay. if you want. Okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> this is the pushiest Canadian I've ever met. <laughs> all right. Here's your question. If you get this correct, you will go to a swanky restaurant. And if you get it wrong, you will right, you'll still go. Um, who is the current mayor of Toronto? <sighs> Rob Ford. How's that working out, smartass? <laughs> We're sending you to Craig's Restaurant. Craig's this really good one. Craig's Restaurant. Lovely Canadians. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Here's the thing. We are a little concerned, aren't we, boy? Before the show starts every night, we might like to meet the audience, you know, get to know them a little bit. There's a Canadian in tonight. <laughs> so, normally, normally, of course, that's not a problem. But we've got a very rare Canadian. <laughs> this one, when he laughs, he goes like this.
can't see or hear us. <laughs> By the way, if you've just tuned in, we're just like any other talk show. <laughs> you ready? All right. This will be fine. Go, go. <laughs> All right. No, no, it'll be fine. Come, come on. Please state your name and where you're from. Jason. Jason, where are you from, Jason? Canada. Canada, which part? Outside Toronto. Outside Toronto. Yes. Everybody's from outside Toronto since the mayor, aren't they? Do you, have you ever met Rob Ford? I have not. Neither have I. <laughs> but in a way, I feel I've lived his life, sort of. <laughs> Partially. I've never been the mayor of Toronto, have you? Uh, never. What are you doing in California? In I... such a fancy red jacket. <laughs> I'm on a layover to San Francisco. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I got a layover and then I said, hey, can you extend the layover so I can come to your show? Airlines will do this? Yeah, you will. <laughs> well, we're going to send you to a gosh darn swanky Hollywood restaurant. Awesome. Thank you. Wait, wait. You don't know what one it is yet. <laughs> what one is it? La Canta Veneta. These Canadian food? If they have poutine, awesome. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just let me just reassure the folks at home. Poutine is not a word for vagina. Is there anyone here with you? Uh, are you on your own? Uh, once I get to San Francisco, I'll be with someone. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> but you're just here on your own? Correct. Well, that's going to make for a kind of sad dinner in the restaurant, isn't it? I'll Why don't you pick one of the studio audience to go with you? <laughs> okay, you don't have to. We'll be right back with more scintillating, just like any other talk show, talk show. <laughs> so when, when we get started, I'll walk across. Mm -hmm. Well, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh too much. They'll think it's fake. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Please state your name and where you're from when I tap you on the shoulder. Where am I from? Yeah, yeah, where are you from? California. <laughs> Los Angeles. Well, okay, so you're from Los Angeles, and what is your name? Betty. Betty. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Betty, what brings you to the show? My, my kids came in from Oregon. Oregon? Yeah. So your kids uh, smoke a little pot then, probably, do <laughs> I hope not. Betty, uh, have you ever seen this show before? Yes, I have. Many, really? Many times, really. Really. I stay up late. You stay up late? Yes. Do you, why? Do you have trouble sleeping? Do you have a guilty conscience? No. <laughs> Maybe a little, a little bit? No. <laughs> All right, Betty. Um, okay, we have a game that we like to play here. What is it called, Jeff? It's called Guess My Weight. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Wow! I, I'm sorry for laughing, Betty. It was just that that was really fast. I didn't yeah, tell yeah. him I was going to do anything. Yeah. That skeleton man, boom! He's right there every time. All right, so we like to play a game called Guess My Weight. Okay. Betty, you're allowed to touch me in one place. <laughs> and only one. Okay. And Betty, from that one touch, if you get my weight within 10 pounds, you get to go and eat at a fancy restaurant with you and your kids in L.A. at the expense of CBS. If you get it wrong, then it still works for me. Oh. <laughs> now, Betty, take your... Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
<laughs> you okay? Is that too, is that too much? No, it's all right. Enough. All right, Betty. <laughs> Let's just keep it around, <laughs> shall we? I, all right. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Betty, you get to touch me in one place. Uh, you guess my weight. Within 10 pounds, and we'll send you to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> okay, Betty, use your touch wisely. Oh. <laughs> Only one place. <laughs> All right, Betty, I don't know if the folks at home could see, but you touched me in two places. <laughs> you used one touch there, but you had another touch around the bag, uh, didn't you? I... <laughs> we'll let that slide. Betty, would you like to guess my weight? About 195. About 195. It's within 10 pounds, I'd say about 205. So. <laughs> you're going, you're going to Craig's restaurant, a fantastic swanky Hollywood restaurant with uh, your three, three, three kids, two kids, two yeah. kids, and your friend, and you can all eat and drink as much as you want, drink as much as you can, because CBS is paid. Betty, thanks for playing. We'll be right oh. back in the show. I have to tell you, I was pretty surprised that Betty got so close to my weight. I actually think I'm a little heavier than that, but I liked her. Yeah, she's a very sweet woman. Very sweet lady. Very she's sweet. very sweet, and yeah. I like that she guessed in the low end as well of the weight. Yeah, that was very generous of it was, Where did you come up with the idea for the game show, Guess My Weight? That could be a winner. Yeah, Maybe she can't sleep. Maybe she's a bit like Betty. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Guilty conscience. Yeah, Betty's, uh, Betty's a bit grabby. Grabby hands Betty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Betty, take one grab, take two grabs. That's right, that's right. But then guess the weight low, ensuring a happy response. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind telling you, boy, I'm a little worried. Well, here's the thing. We seem to get more than our fair share of Canadians on this show. Anyway, we'll talk to her, see how it works out. <laughs> you look nice tonight. <laughs> go, go, do the thing. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Uh, Kathy from Regina. Regina, Canada? Yes, Regina, Canada. Regina, eh? <laughs> You ever been in Regina? <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, I, I was there fairly recently. I, I actually was in the, the city of Regina. And what uh, everybody in Regina likes to say is, the city that rhymes with fun. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Are you from there originally? Yes. You born, grew up, you're a Reginian your whole life. Reginian Is it Reginian Indian? Uh, person from Regina. Is that, you, you don't, you don't, act, you haven't given yourselves a name? No. What the hell's wrong with you? Come on, a bit of, you know, civic pride. Regina, Regina. we're, we're big, we're great, we're, 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 we're open to anything that may have. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a tongue. Oh. Right. What, what's the uh, what's the industry up there? It's uh, it's um, what is it? Uh, <laughs> well, let's let's uh, try an investigation. Ag what do you do for a living, Kathy? I work in the agriculture industry. Well, then perhaps there's agriculture in Regina. I think I think that's a good point. Right. There is. So, what kind of uh, agriculture is there? Mostly crops, I imagine. Mostly crops. <laughs> Cereals, grains. Cereals, grains, yep, that sort of thing. That sort of crop. There's no way around it, really. I mean, once somebody <laughs> says they're from Regina, it must, I mean, this must get very tiresome going around the world. People going, ooh, you're from Regina. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. It's exactly what they do. That must be awful. So let's not have that. Although I did notice, you know, when I came out to talk to the studio audience and then I said, oh, well, maybe we'll have somebody on the show. And a couple of people said, oh, me, me. And you went like this. No. <laughs> Are you shy? Yes. Are you shy or just Canadian? Uh, Maybe just Canadian. Yes. Yeah, that's what I it. love my Canadian brothers and sisters, though. I just, I speak passive-aggressive. I know how to speak oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in L.A.? 
Holidaying. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is, how's it working out? It's good. It's nice and warm. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah. And we're here today. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Are we, are we going to do a dance number now? <laughs> hey, what swanky restaurant are we sending her to? Sure. Sure. That's Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant. Serious? Yeah, yeah. She, uh, you know what they serve there? Mm. Excellent food. Awesome. <laughs> and you, and you can take some back to Regina. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do that. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Ooh, it's a really great show tonight. I feel really confident. A lot of good uh, Regina jokes. That was good stuff. What a major score that was. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. I just peed myself. <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of people in from Canada recently. Well, we've got something different tonight. People from Malta. I don't know much about it either, boy, but we'll, I know they love fancy shoes. <laughs> I think that might be their national dress. <laughs> anyway, you check them out and I'll be right over. <laughs> okay, go. All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and uh, where you're from. Lara, from Malta. And? Chris, from Malta. I see, Lara and Chris. Are you a couple? Yeah. I see. <laughs> and what are you doing here in Los Angeles, California? It's a vacation. On holiday. On holiday. Are you married? No. Not yet. No! <laughs> <laughs> <Good. laughs> I've been together 12 years. Just resign yourself to your fate, man. It's all right. it's good, man. It'd be all right. It'd be cool. You can still have shoes. You can still have your shoes. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he's been with me since he was 16 and I was 15, so... Oh! Well, we got a name for that kind of behavior in the United States. Anyway, uh, are you having a nice time here? Yeah, yeah thanks. Oh, good, good. Have you been surfing? Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> Not yet? <laughs> what have you been doing? Because we arrived yesterday. Oh, good. Yeah. From Malta? No, no, from Vegas. From Vegas. We're, we're you were in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. What is Malta like? I don't know anything about Malta. Is That's it? a small island in the Mediterranean. Very sunny. Very sunny? Yeah, yeah beautiful there. Beautiful, lovely island in the yeah. Mediterranean. What, yeah. the what are you doing here, <laughs> man? <laughs> Actually, excuse me, sorry. That, it sound, it's not what it sounded like. That's actually a Maltese word. <laughs> Is it Maltese? Do you say Maltese? Yeah. yeah. So if you say someone's from Malta, you say you are Maltese. Yeah, exactly. Not Malteser. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that gets old, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you, did, you were good. You went, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> You're going to need that once you get married. <laughs> uh, where are we sending them? How about the Mastro's Steakhouse of Beverly Hills? Mastro's Steakhouse of Beverly Hills? We're going to send wow. you there. And... Do you guys... Uh, you, like to, you like to drink? No, we don't drink. Oh, you don't drink? Sometimes. 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 <laughs> I think I'll need to. Yeah. I think I'm going to need to now. <laughs> Just resign yourself to your thing. <laughs> So anyway, you're going to, and it's great that you're here tonight because this is the big Maltese edition of the show. <laughs> so on Monday night, do you remember Monday night? Betty was here. <laughs> uh, and we sent her out to a swanky restaurant. She, wasn't she wearing the same thing? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We sent her out to a swanky restaurant uh, called Craig's and th we thought we'd follow up and see how that went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Betty. Welcome back. Hi, thank you. Hi. So... Oh. Hi. <laughs> 
So how was your meal? Oh. <laughs> Very good. Oh, that's... <laughs> So, Betty, are you, are, do you have any dietary uh, requirements? Are you a vegetarian? Do you eat a lot of the uh, vegan food or anything like that? Uh, no gluten. No gluten. Right. What is that? <laughs> what, what is gluten? Uh, it's wheat. Wheat. Yeah. So what you're saying is you hate the farmers of America. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to get clear on where you stand with this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but that's the kind of thing they do to you on television, you know. Yeah, really. they, they make things up and they try and get you to say them. He's been doing it to me for years. <laughs> you know. Have you ever been on a TV show before? No. Well, you were here Monday. <laughs> but I don't know that... Was that, that Monday? Yeah. It seemed... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... What you doing for the weekend, Betty? What's going on? Not much. I have my kids in and we're yeah. visiting. Do you get along with your kids? Very much. It's very good. Because they live in Oregon. Because <laughs> they live in Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you have any pets? No. You should have a cat. I used to have a dog. Well, that doesn't mean you still have a dog. <laughs> I don't have a dog. It's time you had a cat. I think a cat can't be good for you, Betty. Really? I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you want to have a cat and then you could teach it and make it wear little jackets. <laughs> <sighs> what, what should we talk about now? <laughs> I don't know, Betty. <laughs> And that's why I'm not very good at this job. Oh, I think you're very good at this job. Thanks, Betty. <laughs> I don't even think it's a job. <laughs> well, you make it fun for everybody. Not everybody. Oh, I think everybody. No, no, him over there. I try and make his life hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... <sighs> <laughs> we'll be right back with the big Friday night show, everybody. We'll be right back. We got a problem. Do you remember on Monday night I talked about Australia and I was saying jokes like they get around on dingoes and the rich people have kangaroos? Well, there's some Australians in the audience. <laughs> <clears throat> Apparently they've been sent to take care of me. Go and uh, check them out. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Did you just stroke my horse? <laughs> All right. Go, go, go. <coughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Thomas from Melbourne, Australia. Jesse from Melbourne, Australia. I see. Well, if you're truly Australian, how did you get here? Dingo. <laughs> By dingo, eh? <laughs> you came by dingo, you came by kangaroo, so you're from a rich family. <laughs> come here, come here. Good for you, Mike. Yeah. Right. So. I'm going to play you uh, guys a piece of footage. Uh, footage is what we in America call, uh, you know, stuff that you see on TV. And <laughs> if you can identify it correctly, because it's the greatest piece of television ever made. <laughs> and if you identify it correctly, then you'll be able to go to a restaurant in Hollywood at CBS's expense. Yes? If you get it wrong, however, we will deport you. <laughs> a clue. It could possibly be an Australian show. Yeah. Best television ever made. Play the clip. <laughs> Alright, before you answer, now. <laughs> We're auctioning off each course. For your starter course at the swanky restaurant, which is? Café La Bohème. Café La Bohème. That's uh, French for Café the Bohemian. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, for a first course, can you name the type of animal featured in that television show? That's a kangaroo, mate. That is a kangaroo, mate. <laughs> She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Ah, so that was my second question. <laughs> um, which kind of kangaroo was Skippy? This is for your main course. Australian. Y yes. <laughs> <coughs> but think, think back to the song, the wonderful song. A bush kangaroo. A bush kangaroo is the <laughs> Now, finally, Finally, for your dessert and all the liquor you can drink at CBS's expense. <laughs> I love this. this is, I, I should do a game show. I really like this. <laughs> all right. Um, for your dessert and all the liquor you can drink, can you tell me Skippy's real name? <laughs> Bruce. 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 It's the correct answer. <laughs> you want to do a jingle? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll yeah. just do our own jingle then, all righty? Tweets and emails. <laughs> Tweets and emails. <laughs> well, I took me jambuck out by the billabong and got me yourself a tweety email. <laughs> well, me kangaroo came over and jumped on me dingo. Threw out a boomerang and it came back an email and a tweet. Tonight, on a very special Late Late Show, we're recasting the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> My guess is, at least one of these kids knows about Doctor Who. <laughs> you don't know what that is, do you? That's because you're an American. <laughs> All right, check him out. I'll be right over. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Fong from Vietnam. Fong from Vietnam. Yes. Danny from Fountain Valley. Where? Fountain Valley. Where's that? Orange County. Ah. Huntington <laughs> 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 Beach. I see. <laughs> Donna from Saudi Arabia. Okay. <laughs> Megan from Orange County. But yeah, Megan from Orange County, you don't know this. No? Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> and you're from Saudi Arabia. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me a second. <laughs> Well, my preconceived notions have just flown out of the <laughs> All right. Kids, uh, I hope you don't take this as a generalization or me being rotten or anything, but you all seem to me about roughly the same age. Am I right? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And I'm um, guessing you guys are kind of into the same things. What kind of TV show do you like? Uh, not this one, no. Uh, <laughs> no one's going to buy that. Not even a uh, What about Doctor Who? Do you like Doctor Who? Sure. <laughs> Anybody here know what Doctor Who is? We actually met at a Doctor Who convention. I'm <laughs> not even kidding. <laughs> not even kidding. Wait a minute. Quietly. Quietly. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> You're overdoing it a little bit, all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, kids, I had a great idea. I think you should all get to know each other, especially because you're visiting from Vietnam, right? Yeah. Right. Funny. So you want to you want to meet some, you know, Americans other than just this, you know? Are you guys related in some way? No. Well, how come is, is he staying with you in Orange County? No, he, we're, we know each we're other from school. school. Yeah, we go to the same school. What? <laughs> you commute from Vietnam? <laughs> Back and forth every weekend. Wow. <laughs> what school is it? OCC. Orange Coast College. Ah, what are you guys studying? Bio. Science. <laughs> Science. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, I'm look. So you, dedicated. Yeah, you've got a science tattoo. That proves it. So, 
<laughs> I'm going to send you guys out. This is an experiment. I want you guys to go out on a, just an evening together. Just go out for dinner. And, you know, we're going to send you to Sewer, Sewer which is Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant. She's uh, on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's the one that's named after a penis enlargement device. <laughs> the Vanderpump. <laughs> You'll love the way you look. So... <laughs> we're going to send you out and we want to see if you guys get along and what we're going to do is not film it and we don't want you to come back and tell us how it went. <laughs>the show starts, I come out, I like to meet the studio audience, occasionally I'll say, hey, anyone in from Scotland? And uh, this gentleman said that he was. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, it's perfectly possible. So, um, let's just see. When I uh, tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Dion. Dion. I'm from Scotland. All right, okay. <laughs> which part, that's an interesting accent you got, Dion, which, uh, <laughs> Which part of Scotland is that, then? The bottom part. The bottom part? <laughs> Which town, Dion? Bottom town. I'm from bottom town, too. <laughs> wow. So... So what you're saying, Dion, is you'd like to go on national television and tell everyone you're from bottom town. <laughs> Maybe top. Maybe top. <laughs> Too late. You made your choice. Actually, where you are, where are you from, really, really, for serious, real? Oh, Dallas, Texas. Dallas. <laughs> but we have a Scotland part of town. Well, like, like Chinatown, but it's Scottish? Exactly. In Dallas? In Dallas. The Scottish hood. Okay. So what do people do in the, the Scottish hood then? Do they, uh, what, they, they walk around the streets being cautious with money? Exactly. Is that what they do? Uh, skirts, plaid skirts. Uh, see, that's when I do. Because it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. I mean, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. But I just want to make sure you understood. Sometimes I feel the audience just comes here to mock me. <laughs> We've started. Can you shut up for a minute? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Apparent, apparently, boy, these two ladies over there that are sitting down are from Switzerland. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. That was the, you were really shocked there. Right. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. One of them has an injured foot. Which surprises me because I thought the Swiss were neutral. How did this happen? Let's find out. Hi, ladies. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Diana, and I'm from Switzerland. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and you are? I'm Anita, and I'm from Switzerland, too. Really? And what are you girls doing in Los Angeles? We're Casey. living the good life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, part, which part of Switzerland are you from? Zurich. Zurich's my favorite part. Really? Have you been? Yes. How did you like it? It was excellent. I particularly enjoyed... What was the thing we liked in Switzerland, Jeff? The men. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> May I ask how you injured your foot? <laughs> Should I really say this? Yes. <laughs> I was. I feel the same. Oh. <laughs> why? Why? I know what it sounded like. What language do you speak? Uh, is German, French? Swiss German. Swiss, Swiss German. German? Anyway, um, <laughs> it probably sounded like a different word. So you, you're going to leave it in. You're a racist, man. <laughs> so when, the, when you, you were out enjoying a, a party? Yes, exactly. I had high heels on. <laughs> oh, tell me, I've done that. <laughs> and you went over? 
Where was this? Were you in Las Vegas? No, Emerson. 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 Club. Emerson. Club. Yeah. Emerson. Club. In Hollywood. It's Emerson. Chains. We love to change. Yeah. <laughs> if you hear this, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> we went because of him. Yeah, actually, we wanted to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> We've jumped the shark, really, haven't we? <laughs> I think we should meditate for a little bit. Oh, no, I've got a better idea. Yeah, I've just had yeah. an idea. Stop. Let's meditate with the CNN yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. No, no, no. You know what happened? Well, these Chinese girls, they were in the audience and I said, uh, have you ever seen this show? And one of the girls said, yes, we remember Jeff. Anyway, we'll do the thing. Oh, off you go to your stable and uh, you behave. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Um, we're from China. My name is Yi. My name is Ni. Is <laughs> 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 that a really funny name? No, no, no. It's just they're being rude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. So, um, so Ian me. Uh, oh. That's right. Yeah, you get it. Oh, oh thank you. God. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so Ian me. Um, <clears throat> which part of China are you from? Uh, Central part. You? And South part, Shanghai. Wait, you, you met each other here? It's coincidence. Uh, <laughs> we work here. We just. Um, you work at CBS? No. <laughs> <laughs> In Los Angeles. Oh, in Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. What do you do? Um, I work as the event marketing manager. Yeah. Oh, that's that, bless you. Uh, <laughs> an event marketing manager. That's a good job. And and you? Um, I'm a student, but I was an intern with, so I worked with her for a while. Ah, well, good. Well, we are we're delighted that you're here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shanghai, eh? I always fancied going to Shanghai. Mm -hmm. It's like New York, they say. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> you ever been to Shanghai? Yeah, I've been to there. Been in New York? Yeah. So, are they like each other? Uh, maybe. <laughs> are you guys mocking me? <laughs> a little bit, maybe. Anyway, good news, we're sending you to a swanky restaurant at CBS's expense. Which restaurant is it, Michael? La Canda Veneta. La Canda Veneta, a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> no, it's Italian, it's very, very good. And we're going to send you, and you can have all the food you want, and take dates. Uh, do you guys have, uh, par you know, friends? How many you need? Uh, how, how, many, how many friends do you want to take? I don't know, it depends on how, how, what's the size of the table. <laughs> She's, in a, she's, a, she's organizing the event. She's an event organizer. <laughs> two, and then another two, so four. So, you're, so what you're saying is that the two of them can go and they can take two friends. Sure. So that's four of you. So will you take, uh, will you take uh, bo boyfriends? Bo bo boyfriend, then? Uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have asked that. Terribly sorry. <laughs> well, take whoever you want and uh, we'll catch it on the hidden cameras. <laughs> She says, uh, Craig, my cousin and I have, und I, probably is what she means. Und, und, yeah. My cousin und I have a little bell like yours, and when we ding it, we speak American. 
<laughs> yes, very clever. <laughs> Always got to take everything for themselves. Yo, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's, what's wrong? Too soon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>